Alright guys, so let's continue from where we left off. Now, before we continue, in a previous video I had you guys uh, move the very top here of the object. Let me show you guys real quick. So, at the top view, I had you guys move it, move it to the very center of this. But I think, in actual sense, it should be on the very inside here instead. Because when you take a look here... At the image let me open up a better image real quick so this one so when you take a look at the image the very end here is where these um, the roof comes out of so if that end is where the rooms co comes out of then that is where this part of the, I mean the lower side of the car the from the roof to the door is where it also comes out of so it needs to be at the very edge here not in the middle so let's fix that right now and you already know the drill so we are going to first of all we're going to dissolve the initial ones we added in so x dissolve edges no not vertices x dissolve edges select these ones as well x dissolve edges so let's dissolve the one below as well so select all that dissolve the edges so that's what we're going to do right now Let's get into top view and let's select these one. Let's make this one the active selection. Press period and choose active element. So we're going to scale towards it until it falls right on the line. So press S and then X and let's scale it until it falls on a white line like that. I'm going to do the same thing to the back by going to the side view. I'm going to do it from here. So from this one all the way to that. Make sure this is the active element like that and let's go to the top view press s and then y scale that in until it falls right on the line like that so you can see for yourself what we have now so it falls on it very nicely so let's put in the extra edge loops now so press ctrl and r add in two and let's get onto the side view so as we did before i think this is the very center line yeah so let's get onto the side. Let's take this one first. So all the way to the back. Make sure that is the active element. Press S and then Y until it falls in the middle of the line like that. Do the same with this side. Get onto the side. Press S and then Y. Make sure it falls in the middle of the line like that. And that looks good. So we're going to do the same thing on the side here. As you can see, it's pulling in instead of out. So let's do that right now. So we select these two, press Shift and S, and choose Keza to select it. Select these two edge loops now. Press period and choose 3D Keza for the pivot point. Now press S and then X and scale this out until one of the edges falls in the middle, which I think is the lower one. So deselect that one now. And press S and then X again until the upper one also falls in there, like that. So that should be way much better than what we had before. So with that done, we're going to separate this very mesh here. And before we, we actually separate it, give me a second, guys. So let's unhide this element here. So this is what we have. And uh, before we separate it, let's okay. Let's just go ahead and separate this. Okay, I'm trying to move. There's an overlay right here. You guys, I'm pretty sure you guys can see it. I'm trying to move it out of the way, but I can't. I have the recent update of Windows, and this time I can't move it around. Before I could move it around, but now I can't. So, well, we'll just keep things that way for now. All right, so let's just continue. And. Uh, what we're going to do next is all right. So what we're going to do next is to create the very fender here, the guide, the guide mesh for the fender over here. So the shrink wrap guide mesh for this fender over here. That's what we're going to create. So what we'll do is actually take this mesh here. We're going to duplicate it. So press Shift and D and duplicate it. Select the original one and hide it. So I think it's hidden now. Unless I'm wrong, 
hide it yeah so it's hidden now <clears throat> sorry for not displaying that earlier but let's move on so we're going to use this to create the edge over here and what we're going to do first is to select the first two edges like this control minus and press X and delete those edges so we're going to select this and move this down until it's very flat like that and we're going to go to the side view go into wireframe now we're going to delete this very vertex here press X and save vertices now hover over this one and press L press X and delete all of those vertices we only need this for the fender so all of those ones aren't as useful so let's get to the side view let's hide this object right here let's get to the side view and wireframe we're going to align this to fall on the line right here like that so let's do that right now so we take each of them press period and choose bounding box as the pivot point so we have that over there so let's move it there now move this down to here do the same for the next one right here do the same here move all of them down a little bit below because as you can see there's a gap underneath it so we need to show that gap as well so just move things down a little bit from the blueprint line above like that this one will go up the same as this like that so we're going to press G twice and then press C to constrain to the axis and move this until it falls on the blueprint line right here but for now let's just keep it like this and let's take this get onto the top view and let's move it in the x-axis until it meets in the middle like that so now you can see what we have but as you can see it is very soft over here so that is what we're going to create right now so we're going to take these vertices let's get into side view wireframe I'm going to take the vertex from this very edge here, the one below, this first vertex, get to side view and move on to the very top here and select, I'm pretty sure, maybe, maybe this one, yeah, so let's use that one first, press G twice, slide it down like that, and deselect this, deselect this, press G twice, slide the next one down, deselect this, slide it down and let's leave it there for now yeah that is good for now so select the innermost edge loop first let's put one in the middle of them like that select the inner ones press X and dissolve those edges very nicely like that so that is looking good already so let's select the one above now and do the same as we did at the bottom at the bottom of it to the top so deselect this one press G twice slide this no do we need to no we don't need to so deselect that one press G twice slide this away a little bit slide this one away a little bit and we do that one more time and keep it there so you can see what we have now and that is looking good so let's change the mat cap so we can see this even better I'm going to change it to the silver one like that and you can see it looks almost like this I mean it, mo it looks almost like it that is good if we need to change anything we can do that later that's nice so I think that is good enough but I, I want to do one more thing let's let's put an edge loop right in the middle here select these two and dissolve the edges and let's take this one instead press ctrl and b to bevel it a little bit like that okay that might have been too much let's select let's keep them there let's press ctrl and b again let's bevel this to about there should be good yeah so this is good enough we're going to keep it that way now let's get to the side view and make sure this falls right above that area and to ensure that we're going to go to the top view going to wireframe and we're going to cut this 
along the very edge here a little bit inside it to the top so that we can make sure this falls right underneath the hood so here's what we're going to do we're going to press k and we're going to hit the knife cut this all the way from here to about here and then press c to constrain the axis and we cut that all the way to the back press enter to confirm it now we select this edge here let's get onto the side i'm going to make sure that aligns itself more with the hood up here that is what we're going to do right now so press ctrl and i to invert the selection and press h to hide it so this is it we have right here so that is what we're going to do right now so i think the quickest way to do that is to select this vertex and move all the way down here and select this one make sure this is the active element press period and choose the pivot point to be active element now press s and then z and scale this up until it is right below the blueprint line a little bit like that and I'm going to select this move this up a little bit select this one as well and move this up a little bit we're going to scale it we're going to select this other tree I mean this other three two of them and make this the active element press S and then Z and type in zero to scale them at the same level in the Z axis so press Alt and H to bring the rest of the mesh like that that looks good so what we're going to do now is go into top view and we're going to send this so it, it lines itself up on the blueprint line right here because as you can see it's a little bit back so that is what we're going to do right now so first of all let's take all of this press G twice move it back a little bit a little bit and press C and move this until it passes the blueprint line a little bit like that let's get onto side view and see if that is what is happening okay yeah so it passes it a little bit like that that is what I was looking for so let's get on here now and let's move each of these vertex past this line right here. So select this, press G twice, press C, move it past it like that. Do the same thing here, G twice, C, move it past it like that. And select this G twice, C, and move that out as well like that. So that is looking good, but that increases the spaces. You can see this side is bigger and then the rest are smaller like that. So we're going to correct that right now. First off, let's take each of these vertex and let's try to mellow down so the diagonal is very smooth because as you can see it was harsh before so let's make it smoother and do the same thing here like that yeah so once we have that done I would like you guys I don't know if I asked you guys to enable it before but go into your add-ons and enable loop tools type loop tools in your search bar and click on the check mark to enable it and then you can use this feature so the next thing we're going to do is to go into S select mode, select all of the edges here, including this one. But let's make sure we don't select the last two though. So press C and deselect the last two of them. Now press W. I think we should do the same with these as well. Maybe. Yeah, let's do the same with them. These two. And of course, besides the last one. Now press W, go to loop tools and choose space. So you can see what that does for us. And I think we have to do it all the way down. So let's select them all the way down. And the last two, of course, we don't need to do it to them. Press W, choose loop tools, and choose space. To give them that nice space we wanted like that. So that is looking good. Now let's get into side view. And let's take a look. So you can see it, fo it follows it very nicely as we wanted it to. That is looking good. So what I'm going to do now, going to vertex select mode, select all of these, press X and delete those vertices. Now we'll select this new one here, press E and then X and extrude that in instead. So that is looking good right now. Let's get into top view. Yeah. So that is good. We'll just take this one, press G twice and then C, move that out a little bit like that. Just get back into solid, select it all the way back to this, press W, choose loop tools and choose space. So this is for the fenders. This is going to be good for the fenders now. The fenders guide mesh has now been finished. Let me get into wireframe, check a lot of things. And yeah. So that is looking good. 
I think we just have to mellow the bevels here a little bit. Because as you can see, it's a little bit more too tight. So let's try to do that right now. I'm just going to press Ctrl and R3 here. Move that up a little bit to about there. And let's deselect. Let's deselect this. Let's deselect this vertex right here. Press X and dissolve the rest of the edges. Like that. So what we're going to do now is to take this and about this one right here and press J to join them. Like that. Now what we're going to do is to select the very last one we joined it to. Move to the front and hold down control and click on the one right above the one that we just added in. Like this. Press X and dissolve that edge. So you can see that mellows it out a little bit more. I think that looks a little bit better. Yeah, but we just have to do it again on this side. So move that in to about here. Deselect the very first vertex. Press X. Dissolve edges. Now take this one and the very one over here and press J to join them. Once you're done, select the one we joined it to. Select the very first one next to it. Press X and dissolve edges. So now that looks more like what we have in the reference photo. Except now it might be a little bit too harsh. So we're going to select everything besides the very last two over here. And we'll press G twice and move that in a little bit more. Like that. Yeah, so that is much better. So you can see it's more, more sharper bevel here and then here the bevel mellows out. That is what is happening here as well. That is what we're trying to achieve, and we finally did. Alright, so press Alt and H to bring back all the other meshes. And let's try to see if this is good, because you can see this lip here on the other part of the bodies continues progressively to the very edge le to the very edge of the whole thing. So let's make sure we we manage to get that. Let me just get here, select this press period to zoom in. And yeah, I think that is pretty close. Yeah, that is pretty close, but that is, that shouldn't be where we should be looking. We should be looking here, right here instead. So let's get in there and let's take a look. Yeah, so I think that looks good. All we have to do now is to sharpen that very side there. So let's take this three. Let's press G twice. Let's press G twice and move it a little bit more closer. Like that. Yeah. Let's do the same to the bottom. Select all of these. Press G twice, move that up. A little bit like that. Let's slide it down a little bit more. Alright, so I'm just trying to get this to kind of match the very edge here so that we won't have any problems once we create that cutout. And I think this might actually be good. Let me just deselect this, press select all of these ones here. Press H to hide it. No, instead this one. Press H to hide it. Select the rest. Press H to hide it. And now we're going to change the mark up to the red reflective one. Now let's see. Yeah, so that isn't bad. That isn't bad, but we have to sharpen it a little bit more. That is good. So I think we'll keep it for now. We'll keep it for now and I'll end the video here and we'll fix it better in the next video.